Hello, my name is Alex Isles and welcome to Simonside in Northumberland National Park. And in today's episode, we'll be looking at how the Neolithic people disposed of their dead. So the Neolithic period is obviously when farming is adopted in Britain. And when farming is adopted, people are living in one location. So they're now looking at a way of disposing of their dead or depositing their dead into the landscape that will continue to say, right, we're a part of this landscape. We are the people who live here and this is our land. show off but unfortunately they're in the firing areas um, where the British Army practice their live fire and so because of this I didn't fancy dodging artillery shells, low-flying planes dropping bombs and machine gun fire over the period that I'm filming so because of that instead I've decided to come up here to Simonside and I'll talk about that in a moment but the chambered cans are really good examples and you'll see images of them now is there's Bell Shields Law which is 110 meters long 18 meters wide at its widest point and it narrows down to 8 meters and there's also one up at Kielder called the Devil's Lapel. Now these chambered cairns, what would happen is you would take your dead and you would um, expose them in the open air for a while and this was probably on a platform or on a stone area or something like that and when you expose the dead they would decompose, animals would come, they would eat the flesh and then you would be left with the bones which you would wash and then carefully bring together and then insert into the chambered cairn. When you inserted the dead into the chambered cairn, then they would be inserted alongside all of the other dead as well. And over time, people would go in and they would curate the dead. When they curated the dead, they would actually sort of sort the skulls or sort the leg bones and the arm bones into different piles. So you would have these varying different piles together. And then when you had that, people would go inside and you would be close to the ancestors. So you wouldn't be able to tell which one was, you know, granddad or which one was such and such. But it didn't matter because they were all there together, all of the ancestors. And it might be a place where the people would go to find solace and connect themselves back to the dead as well. So that's a really important and interesting thing to consider how these people are connecting themselves back to the landscape and understanding the dead as well. So when they did this, they set up these funerary monuments and they would do this all over the region, though those are the best examples. Following on from that though, they also built these round cairns and right here you can see on the hilltop here is a wonderful example of a round cairn and Simonside has got loads of these. Now a normal high density for round cairns would be about three or four in a five kilometer square area. Here on the Simonside Hills in a four, three to four kilometer square area there are 23 of these monuments. So you've got a huge number of these round cairns which are burial monuments and so the Neolithic people would deposit their dead into here or around here as well so uh, probably through cremation and things like that. These were so important that later on in the Bronze Age what they started doing was depositing their dead into these as well. So they would make kist burials and put them inside of these or they would uh, build, uh, dig into them, place a kist inside and then continue to build over it as well or build their own Bronze Age, Bronze Age cairns which would become places where the dead would be deposited. So you can see straight away in this ritual landscape we've got locations which are dedicated to the dead and during the Bronze Age for certain we know that on these hills here there was no evidence of farming. So when there was no evidence of farming this suggests that this is set aside. Now uh, alternatively, not going down the same path just to put forward a different hypothesis, the land down in the valleys around here may have been fertile enough that the Bronze Age people did not need to farm on the hills in this area. So there was more than enough farming land but at the same time it may have been that they set aside this as a holy site for the dead, for the remembrance of people and also for these ritual monuments as well. So this also might have been a communal 
communal site where people came together during the summertime and they may have erected a cairn and it may have been a way of connecting to the dead as well or, or connecting to the gods so this may have been like a worship site you raise a cairn so you can come and worship at these locations here and maybe people would have brought offerings and things like that so there's a multi-purpose this ritual landscape but because of the high density of them in this area people are congregating in this particular location for something either for the commemoration of the dead or to honor some form of god or ritual land or ritual within the landscape so there's a really interesting one to look at right there when we look at the the, the bronze age and the neolithic period and how people honor the dead during that time so i hope that's helped to bring some of this together and you've been able to look at this and go and understand how in the bronze age people came together to look at the dead to look at depositing their dead into the landscape and then looking at as well at how this would be a ritually significant site now this particular cairn here has actually been robbed so as we come up here you can see that the central area of the cairn has actually been robbed out so local people could collect this stone and when they've collected this stone it's probably to build farmers walls or things like that there's actually a 13th century wall down at the base of this uh, of this uh, hill which was used to keep deer in for a deer park so that's likely that they came up here found this cairn and just went that's fantastic and they would have robbed the stone away from this location so that they could then erect their wall down there but that's what often happens with these ritual sites so it could have been that there were a greater number of cairns on this hillside but over time they've been destroyed over and over again because of the fact that they provided resources that could be utilized for a different population group so there's another one to look at when we're thinking of these i really hope you've enjoyed the video today and you've been able to look at the ritual landscape and the deposition of dead in the neolithic period if you have enjoyed the video please do like and subscribe share the video with your friends and if you would like to support me further i do have a patreon where you can be involved in steering some of the content of the channel in the future by